I attend Clark Atlanta University. I'm from Grandma State University. Well, I'm representing the Lincoln University of Pennsylvania, the first HBCU. I'm from Howard University. Yeah, the only HU, just for reference. School pride was palpable during the 2013 Green Building Action Plan Sustainable Campus Design Exercise hosted by Felicia Davis at Clark Atlanta University. Students shared their thoughts on the importance of sustainability today. It's about being able to have clean air, good food, you know, good water, these kind of things that without them you cannot survive, you can't live. And I think if you look at the current state of our communities, you can see that we're not doing well to adapt and to survive. And a lot of that is because we are in poor environments, even HBCUs themselves. To me, sustainability is important because it is a message to our future that we care. Um, and my philosophy is, especially as minorities, we've been sustainable, we just didn't call it sustainability. Uh, we've always, you know, had limited resources. So, you know, conservation is in our blood in a sense. I'm actually in the process of starting a recycling um, program on campus. Uh, so far, we have not any um, things so far set up for recycling or anything sustainability-wise. So I decided to come and come to this conference to see if I can get some ideas and brainstorm and get some networking opportunities with other people who are uh, with this conference as well. Teams of students from 25 historically black colleges and universities from across the nation competed on various highly interactive training exercises throughout the week. The presentations you see here were the product of an assignment, Sustainable Campus Designs for Future HBCUs. The students were broken into three groups and given 15 global challenges to consider in their planning. PowerPoint presentations were utilized to organize key information, while handcrafted visual aids and models were used to further illustrate their ideas. The series of exercises built camaraderie and creativity among the engaged students. I think sustainability is the most pressing issue for uh, black students and students at HBCUs because of the fact that it touches everything. Uh, sustainability is an area that, though it is marketed as being, you know, very small, you know, thinking, think, thought of in like a small box of like save the pandas and you know save the Arctic, which is which is great. That's nice, but realistically, if you look at what sustainability means, it is about every single part of our lifestyles. When you mention sustainability, people just think about going green. They don't think about the public health. They don't think about uh, crime and terrorism and other aspects that go along with it and education and ethics, etc. Like we talked about in this conference, it's very important that we maintain and sustain ourselves as a people because our communities need it. You know, most communities have more resources, so we have to improvise and be more creative with our resources. And that's, if, when we master that, then we'd be able to master sustainability on a whole, glo on a whole global, sca a global scale and be able to compete with everybody else. An initial tie between groups led to a tiebreaker vote among the HBCU alumni in the room. The Penguins won with future HBCU campus and curriculum, Sankofa University. We had a lot of great speakers tell us how to get involved and why we need to get others involved and how important we are as a unit. And it's not about what you do, it's about what you get your community involved with because one person can't do it by themselves. You can do it, you know, until you're blue in the face, but if you don't have those people behind you to help you and to encourage you, um, then, you know, you tend to get drained in a sense. So by being here today, well, this weekend, and just seeing all these students so passionate about, you know, being sustainable and being green, and when I get back to my school, I'm going to X, Y, Z, you know, that was really, really encouraging, very exciting exciting and made me liberated in a sense. <laughs>